Chelsea Football Club are set to make their first formal and official bid for Frankie de Jong. This is a player that Manchester United have been chasing for 10 straight weeks. There is a belief at Old Trafford they can get this deal done. There is a push deal from Barcelona to get this deal over the line. But could... But could Chelsea be about to hijack this deal? Talk out of Spain for the past two to three days has been that De Jong is open to leaving Barcelona, but only for Chelsea or Bayern Munich. Smash that like button. Get your comments in now. Chelsea to hijack Manchester United for De Jong. Is it on? Let's go. <laughs> This news broke earlier on today and it states, as you can see, that Barcelona already know that Chelsea are preparing a formal proposal for Frankie de Jong. They have expressed their firm desire to sign him in the last few hours. A move to Manchester United doesn't seduce the player. That is the claim here, as you can see, from... Uh, Tony Juan Martin from Revelo, who are considered a credible source for Barcelona news. And of course here, Albert Rogi uh, from the same outlet, also a writer for sports, a, a publication that everybody knows a lot about. Now, Frankie de Jong, Man United have been chasing him for a long period of time. World-class midfield player. It's the second time now in the space of a month that Chelsea have been heavily heavily linked with the player, heavily linked with the player. We know that there's an interest. We know that Chelsea have been looking at this individual, but why now? We know a few things are going on at this moment in time with Barcelona and Chelsea. First and foremost, they're now in conversations over Cesar Aspilicueta. That's one reason for them to be talking. They've also crossed path on a number of other signing Jules Kunde, of course, Rafinha. Rafinha gone to Barca. There are a lot of feelings that Jules Kunde will end up at Chelsea. They're winning that fight and that battle. Could this be the fourth signing this summer involving these two juggernauts? And the answer is yes, of course, this could be true. Of course, this could be true. Without a shadow of a doubt, this could be true. Because we have seen on a number of occasions this year the foreign press printing articles that turns out to be true before the British press get hold of it. We've seen this. Doesn't mean this 100% will happen, but am I going to disregard it? Am I going to say, well, I haven't seen Matt Law say it, so I'm not going to believe it? I'm not saying it's going to 100% happen, but I'm going to take this as a, this is the source. This is a claim. I'm going to listen to it. This could happen. Chelsea could come in and Chelsea could take him away from Manchester United. I don't think there's any shadow of a doubt about that whatsoever. Interesting take on this comes from Jack Tolbert here that says, mad how Chelsea haven't briefed any of their closest reporters about their apparent move for Frankie de Jong. Now, of course, he alludes, go on to say that, you know, almost like it's not true. And of course, this could be a ploy. This could definitely be a ploy from Barcelona to try and force Manchester United's hand. 100% that could be true. It could also be that Barcelona are expecting a formal bid from Chelsea and Barca have just briefed the press before Chelsea have. Maybe Chelsea don't want to brief the press this early in case the player picks Man United still. Maybe the full story isn't quite as accurate <clears throat> as these two gentlemen have put out. But it's certainly an intriguing situation nevertheless. Now, on top of that, there's a number of other scenarios within this to kind of look at and review and think about. Now, today, um, a different Spanish outlet had a kind of different take on, on this kind of transfer scenario, as you can see here. This was via Sports Witness and AD uh, dot Netherlands. They have stated that Frankie de Jong remains under heavy pressure from Barcelona's management to accept a move to Manchester United. So no talk here from this outlet, no talk from Sports Witness at all about Chelsea whatsoever. This has just emerged in the last few hours but the big question I've got for you all is, is Frankie Dion going to leave or not? <laughs> and the reason I'm throwing that out is this. 
Because I've not seen any talk in the last few hours since this news broke of, well, Chelsea shouldn't sign him because his desire is to stay at Barcelona. Suddenly everybody's encouraging it. Everybody thinks it's plausible. Everybody thinks it can happen. Everybody thinks it's a good move. And I echo that. I think all of those things is absolutely right. But the mood around Chelsea getting Frankie de Jong is very different from Manchester United. And I want to ask you, why do you think that is? Remember, these same Spanish outlets only three weeks ago were saying he'd turn Chelsea down because he wants Manchester United. They then said the player has no desire to leave Barcelona whatsoever. Now he has a desire to leave for Chelsea or Bayern Munich and not just this outlet. I'm going for the general consensus here. But Chelsea are certainly looking at this individual as far as I'm concerned. I believe the reports to that degree, and not just today's report, but the overall reports that this could potentially happen. I'm just searching here again because I don't think it was too long ago um, that I don't think it was too long ago that this this kind of this was discussed by Fabrizio Romano. And this is an article here that says that Manchester United's pursuit of Frankie Young is going to make, take is going on for the majority of the summer. And with Fabrizio confirming to court offside the talks between the club and Barcelona have been going on for weeks. Um, Eric Ten Hag knows De Jong from his Ajax days, and there's there's no surprise there. So that's based on this. But I'm just I'm just searching as we do this. I'm pretty sure it was a while back. It was a while back that there was a possibility that this deal could be hijacked uh, by him. Fabrizio provides update on Chelsea's interest in Frankie De Jong. Here we have it. So here we have it. Here. This was back on the third of the the third of this month. He says, De Jong is currently in a sticky situation, blah, 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 blah. United have done whatever they have done. I'm trying to get to his comments here on Chelsea. Uh, with the situation in mind, it makes sense why Chelsea would show interest in the Dutchman um, if there's an issue regarding the money, something the Blues new owner has no issue of. With the news surrounding Chelsea being seriously interested in the deal, Fabrizio Romano has come out to provide a much-needed update on the situation. Speaking on his YouTube channel via uh, Blue Footy, the Italian journalist confirmed the Blues have had some discussions about Frankie de Jong. Chelsea have said to have had some discussions to the possibility of signing Frankie de Jong, but everything depends on Tuchel at the club. So we have this is why we have to remember that this isn't some weird, loose new link. Fabrizio Romano linked, linked Chelsea to the player three weeks ago. Two weeks, three weeks ago now, we're getting to in and around that time and confirmed that there had been interest. So the fact that there may now be a formal offer coming forward... Who and what and why would be surprised by this? I'm certainly not. And I don't think any Chelsea fans out there are surprised either by the link to this player. But the question comes down to whether or not you think, first of all, Chelsea's interest is real. And if they make their bid and it gets accepted, we know what they've got to bid. They've got to bid 85 million euros in its entirety. That's what Man United have bid. You'd expect it to be the same. Are the deferred wages going to be an issue? This is when we really get answers to so many of the questions posed by posed by fans because of the information from journalists. Do the deferred wages become an issue if there's Champions League football? Will Chelsea will will Chelsea make a bigger contribution than Manchester United? Were the deferred wages just an excuse, just an excuse for De Jong to delay things until the Champions League club came along? There's so many outcomes, there's so many factors, there's so many directions that this deal could go in. It's eye-opening. It's intriguing. And as a Man United fan, I want this deal done. But there is also this football fan in me, this lover of transfer news, this lover of the transfer market, the ebb and the flow, the fluidity. It's intrigued to see how this goes. At the same time, if Chelsea were supremely confident in this, and let's just say for a minute, this news is true. You would be getting briefs from the Matt Laws, from the Ornsteins, from the Fabrizios, from the Simon Johnsons, from the Nazir Kinsellas. You would. But maybe Chelsea at this point are still treading with an air of trepidation themselves in fear of being rejected. But I wouldn't necessarily echo the way Chelsea have operated for the majority of the summer. They've been quite brash, quite loud, quite direct in their approach to bring in new players. So it's certainly an intriguing one for me. It's a situation that I'm enchanted by, to say the least. My fervent belief is De Jong is up for leaving Barcelona. I don't believe wholeheartedly in this notion that he's staying because it's his dream club. I think he loved it there. I think he'd like to stay. I think if the deferred wages wasn't an issue, he may have already left. 
Equally, Man United, I, I believe, are a place that he would join. I fervently believe the reports from over a month ago that he's happy with the personal terms that have been sent and verbally agreed to them. But I've said all summer, my biggest fear, and I believe this could be it, is that a team as big, similar size to Man United, with Champions League football in a better position than we are now, comes in and sweeps him away. away. That's my concern here. So I'm not going to disregard this and try and tempt some fate that this isn't going to happen. Chelsea have been interested. This still feels like it could be on. I've said Chelsea were going to do a madness this summer. I've said we should be scared of Chelsea. And for reasons just like this, I think we've got our answers. Listen, people, smash that like and that share button for us right now. Will Man United allow, will Man United allow this transfer to slip through their fingers? They could, they shouldn't, but they could. I want your thoughts and I want your feelings, people. Until next time, take care. Goodbye. God bless.